Good evening, everybody, and happy 426. Fuck May the 4th. This is the real holiday. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to be playing as many uh, officially licensed alien games as I can until uh, <laughs> until we reach the end of our three-hour period. So 6.30 to 9.30. And, um, wow, we, got a, we actually have quite a few people already. I was just going to... But what the hell, I'm going to do this one anyway. So, uh, hey, Allura. Yeah, we're going to just do this anyway. So, first game on the docket is going to be Aliens for the Arcade. I'm going to be doing World Set 1. I'm going to try and one credit clear this thing. But we will see how that goes. It might not go well, because I've had 2.5 shots of vodka. But we'll see. But welcome. This is the game that got me into the franchise as a whole. And they made Ripley blonde for some reason. But here we go! By the way, this is set to max difficulty. And unlike the movie, the flamethrower is actually the strongest weapon. By the way, the sound level's okay. Oh yes. Good. So anyway, Konami took some creative liberties with this one, as you can see. <laughs> you said it before I did, man. Well, I mean, think about it. It's a, it's a whole entire species of dick monsters. Let me understand if I have this correct, Lieutenant. It's an eight-foot creature with a head that looks like a penis. Anyway, stage two. Come, 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 come on! <laughs> Basically... <laughs> yeah, all these aliens go down in about three hits. I already previously did a one credit clear of this for Super Retro Sunday a couple of weeks back, but I want to try and do it again. Anyway, there goes Newt. And welcome to the Atmosphere Processor. <laughs> I need at least three six to top the bomb before I get... Nah, I own the director's cut, and there were no aliens with wings. In fact, I was watching it just before I got on stream. Yes, those steam vents can hurt you. There are health pickups in the game, but they don't give them to you until you're below five ticks. So this isn't a full, they're not going to give me anything. They will only spawn if I'm below 5 6 of health. So you. Really? I prefer the extended edition. I feel that way about the original movie. Oh, Vulture. For real. The hyperactive snake aliens. Anyway, welcome to the elevator. We gotta get to sub level three. Hell yeah. 
Cameron himself even said so. Yeah, Alien 3's script was a clusterfuck. Then again, there were how many scripts made for that movie? And how many directors before they all just balked at it? And Fincher was brought in. And they just basically told Fincher, look, do what you can with what these with the scripts that we have. Vulture, was that the one where uh, Lance Hendrickson was narrating, or is it the whole cast? Oh, damn. Because I remember they, they did an audiobook version with just Lance Hendrickson as Bishop, but yeah. Except Sigourney Weaver, yeah, I think it's much. Two more. Yep. Let's see if I can get down this thing without a cable snapping. Aluro, my only gripe about that game is the fact that it's just way too long. There were at least three points in that game where I thought it was over and the credits were gonna roll, and they're like, nope, you still have more shit to go through. I'm like, what the hell? Without getting in too much into spoiler territory, they should have ended it after the reactor. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, welcome to sub-level 3. Yeah, I love Michael Bean. Why am I even bothering to get this? They did make an action figure out. They Kenner did make an action figure out of it. And I think last time I checked, the original Alien Kenner action figure from when the first movie was released, I think it goes for about 500 in box and 250 out of box. Anyway, say hello to the Roach, the mini boss of this level. He's not too bad. Now we get the only extra life in this entire game. Which is worse, EVP or Resurrection? Yeah, those zombies we don't even have to fight. Honestly, the furthest I go with the series is the assembly cut of Alien 3, and I don't go any further. Because, to be fair to Alien 3, it has my favorite score out of all the movies. That's It's my favorite music. And only that, not only that, it has my favorite character in the entire franchise in uh, Dylan, played by Charles Dutton. Yes. If I remember correctly, from what I read, Elliot Goldenthal wrote, composed that score during the L.A. riots. Like, Los Angeles was burning around the dude and he was just composing the score for this movie. Yeah, Fincher did the best he could with what he had. And, uh, to this day, it's a sore spot for him. Damn it, so much for no damage run. And we lose the uh, power loader, unfortunately. This is where things get dicey. Sneaky little shit, get back here. Now we have, yeah, we have ones that come through the floor, too. And more zombies. Which is an enemy type that Capcom would recycle for uh, AVP, the arcade game. Son of a bitch. I always fall prey to that, like, every time. Oh, but I needed those bombs. Honestly, uh, Kara, I actually, I don't have the alien ones, 
but I have the old uh, Batman vs. Predator comics that came out back in like the late 80s. Vampires rule! Yeah, I'm like trying to read chat and also trying to focus. There's so much shit going on at once. Anyway, speaking of creative liter- Speaking of creative liberties with the Alien franchise, check this shit out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this thing's kind of a pain if you don't know what to do. Oh shit! Speaking of which. Well, this is not gonna be a no death clear, that's for sure. Very true, Kara. You're absolutely right. Yes, I, this whole thing has to be made of dicks. I don't know why. Anyway, it's dead. Come, come, Would you come, like come, some come. opium? I still remember that from the making of featurette. Dan O'Bannon was like, when I first met H.R. Giger, He just came up to us and he's like, would you like some opium? And Dan O'Bannon's like, why do you take opium? He's like, it keeps the nightmares at bay. Dude, this part's a joke. Anyway, we saved Newt. Alright, welcome to level 5. We're back in the colony. One hit and we're effectively dead. So we're going to take this really slow. Ah, this is always a bad pattern. Oh, no, we got a good one this time. Anyway. <laughs> yes. You have to. You can't take too much of the dick monster at once. Anyway. Like I said, under five ticks of health, they give you energy. So I'm due for one more. <laughs> dick flowers. Virginia Woolf or Georgia O'Keefe? Yes, regenerative floors. This thing is a joke this time around. But this isn't the only time we fight it. The second time we fight it, it's a potential run killer. And I'm sorry if I have no indoor voice, but I'm... I'm feeling that buzz. And, uh, the more I'm buzzed, the more my indoor voice goes away. Anyway. Welcome to the CBT hallway. If you don't have a flamethrower at this part, you're pretty much fucked. <laughs> I know, right? Come on, kids, let's commit some war crimes! And we get our motion tracker, of course. Gotta be careful, even that steam can kill me. Jeez, I did not want to be there. True. But you know what? They don't make you feel... They don't make you feel bad about it, unlike Spec Ops The Line. Spec Ops The Line is pretty much like, Oh, you didn't realize there are consequences for your actions. That game was so underrated. 
But anyway, we're gonna take it easy. We got face huggers dropping down. New, no, because that's not officially licensed. It wasn't approved by Fox. Okay, you got me there. I'm just gonna let that go. Whoa, whoa. Shit, that could have been bad. Oh, there's health. Okay, good. Now I'm two hits away from death instead of just one. Spot. Please tell me I'm in the right spot. Yes, thank you. So I get to avoid all that bullshit down there. Shh. It's cool, guys. We got this. Okay. We don't... Wait, what? Oh! I see what happened. I forgot, when you pick up health in this game, it rolls over and gives you an extra life. Yes, they are. This is gonna suck. Methodical. We're gonna try and beat this fucker in one quarter. We did it before, we can do it again. Two down. Two more to go. Hey, Tiffany! Welcome! Alright, now comes the bad part. I ain't stopping for shit. Except buttholes, I never knew that. Shit, I lost the bombs. This is a bad run, baby. More creative liberties. Electric aliens. Because why not? Yeah, are you in the middle of a run? <laughs> oh shit, he's pissed.
Yeah, this is gonna be really bad. Two more stages to go, kids. Stage six. That's why I love Mortal Kombat X, because the Xenomorph was actually a, uh, a playable character in that game. He was one of the fighters you could pick. Granted, it was DLC, but still. But whenever you... F but it, whenever it went up against Johnny Cage, it was the funniest shit ever. You know, your head looks like a dildo. Grabbing that before it disappears. Okay, we're in a little bit better shape. Finally got that. We're at six ticks of health. And that's good because guess what we're up against, kids? It's queen time. stage. Kids, I'm, I, I hate to disappoint people on the channel, on the uh, stream, but this might be the end of our run. I mean, I'm still going to continue and finish it, but this thing. I hate this thing. The second hardest boss in the game next to the queen herself. enemies, yeah. God, I hate this thing. Get out of here. Alright, kids. I don't fancy our chances here. Essentially, I have to do this without getting hit. And that's not gonna be easy. Because this bitch is tough. God, don't do that. Don't do that! Shit! Alright, so no one correct clear this time. Fuck it. We're gonna finish it anyway. Damn it. Like I said, you can do the whole game flawless. Just that, that weird fucking spider thing and the queen are both run killers. This fight's always a nail biter.
guess I'll just have to be satisfied with that one I got back on Super Retro Sunday. And that's the game. Yeetus finitus. God damn it. I'm disappointed in myself. Guess what we're playing next? <laughs> yes. Yeah, big ups to Konami Kukeha Club for all that. Indeed. Oh shit, that's right, there's a loop too. I fucking forgot there's a loop too. Fine, we, we'll play through it until we die. in-house band, the Konami Kukeha Club. Do the music for this and so many other games. But yes, you gotta love that FM synth. This thing's gonna utterly annihilate me. I can never get past it. Well, it's like a Groundhog Day loop. <laughs> But speaking of Sega, that's up next on the docket. Whoa, whoa, hello. Sir, madam, wherever you lie on the spectrum, what are you doing? Death loop with dick. Exactly, death loop with dick monsters. Come, 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 come on. Yeah, we're not continuing from this point. Whoa, whoa, holy shit, they take, yeah, they take a lot more damage. Holy shit. Yeah, they take like six hits to kill now. I'm gonna have to avoid a lot of them. Forgetting the steam hurts me. Whoa. I 
know they made some kind of figurine that mirrors the uh, arcade version of these guys. But yeah, could you imagine, like, giant neon purple aliens? Is a four out of three. Four point three. There we go. That's a fitting end to this game. I'm not even gonna bother putting my initials in. I did terrible. But yep, that's the game. <laughs> Death by cockroach ball. Exactly. Oh, but we're not done yet, kids. We're only a half an hour into this three hour stream. So, give me one second to change the game. Hopefully this doesn't break the stream chat, but if somebody can type something in, that would be great, because we're moving on. Ahoy! <laughs> something yes <laughs> yeah i have seen the alien design with lips from the uh concept art all right so we're moving on from aliens to alien 3 yes alien 3 had the lips returned uh yeah that was the uh giger design that got rejected but anyway we're moving on so welcome to the next game on our list Welcome to Alien 3, the gun. Speaking of Sega. That whole thing was fraught with bad ideas. It was one of the worst examples of executive meddling in cinema history. The execs wanted to make it a cash cow franchise and it just didn't work. But anyway, let's get started. Yep, that's right. Because he and Dan O'Bannon were both working on that film. But anyway, welcome to the second game on our stream today. What a race! Yeah, his concept art for them is weird. Yep. So, gotta love those '90s orchestral hits. But yeah, this shares a similar premise with, um, Aliens Colonial Marines, except it's a rail shooter and it doesn't suck. More war crimes. It just, yeah, exactly. Fuck off, Randy. Hopefully it ain't too loud.
But yeah, I first played this game at Boomers when I first moved down here back in 95. Cool. Yes, I love them. Ah, damn it. Something's inside. What was your first tip off? More hugs than the end of a hardcore show. Oh, I loved Lucky and Wild. That game was great. Me and my friend Paul used to play that shit all the time back when he used to live on Long Island. Alright, anyway, first boss. Super face hugger. Yes, exactly. Oh, I didn't even see it was still alive. We're done. Oh god, I'm not making sergeant this round, that's for sure. Oh no, I made sergeant! You know, I was asking myself that same question. I have no idea. Anyway, welcome to Fury 161. Fat people. <laughs> Yeah, unlike the Aliens arcade game, we're gonna quarter feed our way through this thing. Why is there a minefield? Is that to keep the prisoners from escaping? There's nowhere to go. It's like we're a Pente in uh, Star Trek. There's no way to go off world, so why even bother having mines? Now we have security robots. Creative liberties, people. Um, they did Alien vs. Predator vs. Terminator as a comic series. But I don't think they ever did Alien vs. Terminator on their own. And yes, before anyone asks, 
They did create a Termin alien. Yeah, but I don't think he did. Oh yeah, this thing, the Iron Tortoise. Because yes, every backwater work prison needs its own tank. I think this game took even more liberties than, uh... Not wrong, but anyway, we're done. I took a shit ton of damage. <laughs> we barely went up in rank, but we're not done yet, kids. We got more. Now gives me health. Thanks, assholes. Yeah, I don't think anybody in this world has ever at one CC to rail shooter. Get another flamethrower. Yep. And I missed it. Oh, absolutely. Rail shooters, like light gun games, are a sure bet, man. I mean, I've already spent a dollar on this shit. Actually, on second thought, I might have spent two dollars. I think each credit was usually like 50 cents, for this one at least. Infrared, the aliens don't give us heat signatures. They established that in the second film. They don't give off any kind of heat signature. There to scan the color blind. What the? Okay, 
Okay, so what makes this one different from the other ones I've fought so far? That hurt my skull, Dark Star. Anyway, welcome to the Welcome to Wolfenstein 3D, apparently. Alright, which way am I going? Basement 1 or Basement 2? Oh god, yes. That was terrible. Is this the slaughterhouse or is this the cafeteria? It's the cafeteria. I was hoping it would be the slaughterhouse. I like that way better. I forgot that's where they start putting in hostages. Thanks! Zombie sideboards. <laughs> They're prisoners. They're probably going to die anyways. It's mercy killings. <laughs> Well, yeah. You're absolutely right, Rob. They were. They forged lead sheets for toxic waste containment. That's the only reason why they were there. Super dog burster. Oof. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, we're gonna quarter feed our way through this, dude. Welcome to stage four. I think... Yeah, Revolution X I finished. Yeah. Let's go. Get running, assholes.
Don't shoot this baby. <laughs> God! <laughs> exactly. What the fuck? Fingers say to the face. Wait, are these both zombies? Nope, they're good. They were a little bit higher up. Six. One of you fuckers is gonna turn into a zombie. I knew it. I think we got a rematch with the quote unquote alien now. Yup. I love how it just struts right in front of you, just like, remember me, asshole. We have to fight it again? No, it just fucks off. How did you lose him? How's that even possible? Okay, we did okay that time. Oh, we made it to... <laughs> Which sound effect, uh, Vulture? The curtain on the final struggle is raised. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they really want my money now. Oh yeah, we're pretty much done.
Ugh. I didn't see those guys back there. Okay. Oh, it's this asshole again. For it, line of the game right here. Okay, not yet. Wait for it. Oh, it's after the stage five clear. Never mind. Oh, we made the officers class. Okay. We have finished the boss of the aliens, but then... Wait for it. Here we go. Line of the game right here. Yeah. And the last boss of the game is fucking Lance Henriksen over here. What? You know too much. I must kill all of them. Wow, great conversation. Here we go. Hit scanners. Yeah, so we get a Bolivian army ending. Let's go! Fire! Yeah, that's it. That's the game, Kara. <laughs> Congratulations, ass. Secondo Lieutenant. <laughs> no other name I could really give myself though but uh, yeah that's it for that so um, continuing on from that I mean I could do some console ports but I don't really think that's going to be all that great so uh, I know what we're doing next since we just did Alien 3 There's only one thing we can do next. It's gonna give me a give me a few seconds because I have to find there it is.
And there it is. <laughs> Are you kids ready for this? Who needs... Indeed. But since we just did Alien 3... Yeah, Argonaut Games, the same software company that helped develop Star Fox made this. I do have AVP, but I wasn't planning on doing AVP games tonight. I mean, I guess I technically could. Yeah, I rented this once from Blockbuster. It's... For a movie tie-in game, it's actually surprisingly decent. It is. It's insanely hard. But I have to admire the amount of effort that went into this. But I don't know, if you guys want to see AVP for the arcade and stuff like that. I mean, I could throw that in there. We got time. We've only been at this for an hour. Yeah, I haven't played this since it was released in, in like, the 90s. Like I said, the last time I, I played this game is when I rented it from Blockbuster. We'll see how much of this I get through. I don't think I'm going to spend the whole night playing this, but I definitely want to get through a few rounds. So yes, welcome to uh, Alien Resurrection for the PlayStation 1. This game is best played in the dark. I think they got the same guy who voiced Father in the movie. Let's see, control options, I just want to make sure I got this right. Control configuration. Oh, you can strafe! Heh. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, true, I did like that. Game options, easy, normal. Let's go easy. Alright, I think we're ready to go here. Alright, kids. Yeah, I really think it's the same guy who did the voice of Father. USM Aurina. All systems nominal. Containment field at maximum. I'm getting out of here. And, uh, if it isn't obvious already, Ripley is not voiced by Sigourney Weaver, obviously. She's voiced by veteran voice actress Lonnie Manella. Bio-containment unit, please report to R&D dissection chambers. Breach in progress. I really think this is the same guy. Anyway, I think this dude has something we need. Yeah, the ID card, which we need to get out of here. Delta 5 security clearance granted. I think this is a med 
Tactical squad, please report to lower engineering deck. Okay, that's how you use items. Sorry, I'm learning this on the fly because it's been a while since I played this. But yeah, the effort that Argonaut put into this is actually pretty impressive. Everything's super smooth. And yeah, I keep forgetting the triangle button is a... Uh... Yeah, true. Weaver didn't do voice work for any of the Alien games until uh, Isolation. Every once in a while, you got celebrity voice actors. High voltage electrical discharges present in this sector. Thank you, Father. I don't think there's any way to run. Come on! But yeah, considering the fact that you had free look and stuff like that before it was available in PC FPSs, that was pretty goddamn amazing. Think, I know it does. That was not the right button. But hey, at least I found a goddamn pistol. There has to be a way to run. I have to admit, the, the atmosphere of this game is amazing. Like I said, this is uh, Argonaut Software, the same people who made uh, or helped develop Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. This is the only thing, other thing I know that has their name on it. Okay, so A is shoot. Got it. I'm sorry, the X button. This little pea shooter ain't gonna help me against the Xenomorph. Have a pistol? No, that's just his boot. Ugh, these guys are not doing too well. Oh, I got a flashlight. Okay, so how do I. Okay, that reloads. Got it. I think the pistol's infinite, actually. Yeah, I know, uh, well, one of my favorite YouTubers, Civi11, did a whole review of this game. Nope. Stop spinning in a circle. Oh. Okay. Um. Sure. What is it? Nothing. He just died. Okay. Nope, you're on your own, buddy. Uh, good luck with that. At least I got two of those small med kits. Can I do anything with this? Um, yeah, even though I haven't really insufficient free blocks. Oh. It feels like Puppet Combo did an alien game. <laughs> yeah, all that's all that it's missing, Vulture, is the fucking um. All it's missing is the grainy VHS filter. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So for those of you who are wondering why I started with Aliens and not with a game based on the first movie, um, A1 Alien Isolation is too long, and the only other two games are... Um, 
The one for the Atari 2600, which is essentially just a variant of Pac-Man, I shit you not. I mean, if you want me to play it, I will, but it's not going to be very interesting. Will all non-essential personnel please report to lifeboats? I think that ship has sailed, uh, Father. Okay, I'm gonna go away from the screening. From the screening real fast. I don't think there's any way you can jump in this game either. Actually, hold on. No, I can't. I quit the game. Or maybe I will have to. You do not have the proper security clearance to access the warehouse. Yeah, but I guarantee you this is the same guy who voiced Father, the computer aboard the Ariga, in the movie. Anyway. Filthy bugs got him while they were having chow. Oh, this dude just straight got his throat torn out. Thank you, sir. Good luck with your stream. Guys, be sure to check out ZH Darkstar. He streams the same nights I do. You're doing uh, Trials of Mana, aren't you? Lifeboats unavailable in this area. Please proceed to the engineering deck bays. Thank you for your cooperation. I don't want to die. Oh, we found the ID card at least. And again, I th if I remember correctly, the pistol is uh, infinite ammo. I mean, you have to reload it. And you get 12 rounds in a mag. But that's pretty much... Twiles of Mana. Select button actually just crouches, okay. Warehouse access granted. Thanks, now open the door. Oh, it's an elevator. Oh hey, you're alive! Where are you going? Okay. Fine, be that way. Where the hell is that? Please turn that off. Pass card accepted. Access granted. Oh, and there's the flashlight. Okay. Is there any other button that actually selects your items? No, that just makes me spin in a circle. That's not going to be helpful. A shoots. Looks that reloads the L2 and R2 strafes. So, yeah, how do you cycle through? Oh, god.
Okay, well, at least it went down easy. Well, I mean, it is 200 years after, uh, Aliens in Alien 3, so they, you figured the Origa would have better weapons. Boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. Get him in? Is that you? D did we find Brad Dorif? Um, I don't know why you're banging on the thing. I don't know how to get that open. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I can shoot the glass, but I don't think that's going to do anything. Nope. Bulletproof. Sorry, bud. Looks like you're stuck in there. Hate to say it. Unless, is there like a shootable switch somewhere in here? No, but there is another way out, so what do you say we just try that? Oh, we can just go this way. Don't worry, buddy, I'm coming to get you. goes Brad Dourif fucking off out of this game even though he so where does it leave me off wait does it leave me off back at the beginning I fucking hope not Yeah, this game is very well done, but it is hard as shit. Oh, never mind. It put me at the last save point. Uh, to the last save point. Will so. all non-essential personnel please report to lifeboats? Bad way, Vulture. Can I get off the ladder, please? Thank you. I'd like to get off the ladder. Awesome. Great. Thanks. Driving right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not sure what the hell to do. Is this the elevator? Oh, that's right. I'm only in here for the health kit. Lifeboats unavailable in this area. Please proceed to the engineering deck bays. Thank you for your cooperation. Unidentified presence detected in area H. But did we get what we came for? That's what I really want to know. Warehouse access granted. Yep, apparently we did. You're all hostile now. I can just shoot you all in the goddamn face. Yeah, sure. Put your alarms on. See how that helps. Oh. You gotta remember, R1 reloads. Thanks. 
Thanks, buddy. First, uh... Okay, let's see if there's any, like... We gotta get better weapons soon, I mean, right? They're not gonna let... It, they're, not, they're just not gonna leave us with a pistol the whole way through the game, are they? You know, let's go down the ladder first. Come on. Ah, steam. Which I think, does that hurt me? Yes, oh my god. Steam fucking kills. Holy shit, I was not expecting it to just drain my health like that. That was nuts. Unfortunately, that means we gotta go through that gauntlet of uh, USM soldiers again, but, you know, I'm willing to do it if you're willing to watch. I've been shot full of holes over and over again. <laughs> For real. Oh yes, in alien games, Steam is usually the deadliest of killers. Steam always hurts you. Will all non-essential personnel please report to lifeboats? Quick question while I'm running around the Origa in the dark. In this area. Do you guys Please want me to incorporate the AVP stuff, or should I just leave it strictly Thank you just the alien franchise for now? I mean, I'm fine either way, but, you know, whatever you guys want. I was just gonna stick to just regular alien stuff. Alright, so let's head down. No, head down. There we go. The ID card was down here, wasn't it? Yup. Perfect. There was nothing else down here. Maybe a med kit. Nope, not even a med kit. We're done. Yeah, I was thinking of strictly keeping it alien stuff. I mean, I could put on Alien Isolation, but we are not getting through it in one night. And I've already played that game two times before. Add it on if I have extra time. Well, we're only halfway through the stream. We have literally 90 more minutes to go. Pan, just get back here. Always the last guy in the room that has it. Enough. Yes, accepted. Access granted. What really cheeses me is the fact that there's nowhere to, there's no way to run. That's really it. I'm gonna go 
check around and see if there's another save point or something around here, but I don't know if there is. ballerina twirl before I made it drop dead. Please tell me there's another fucking save point in here. Nope, just another service elevator. Son of a bitch, I thought maybe there was something else good in here. But I guess not. Alright, so how many health packs do we have? Enough, hopefully. really wish, though. Is I wish I knew. How to... Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. It's actually kind of smooth. Peeled. I know X auto centers your aim. Yeah, Ar like I said, Argonaut Software definitely put in some time on this one. Sis. Pressure released. Oh, good. We turned the steam off. Now he won't die walking in there. But we still gotta be careful. What's this? Oh, small med kit. Perfect. the ladder. Oh, there it is. Epilepsy warning. Sorry, people. Didn't know it when I started playing it. So you have to strafe off the ladder. What the hell was that? Oh. Really, asshole? That's right, line up like lemmings. I wish there was a way to cycle through, uh... If anybody can look up online how to actually cycle through my items, because I have no idea how. Hell, even just look up the CV11 video, because I'm sure he mentioned it, but I don't remember how to do it. Alright, so what do we got back here? Shotgun shells. And an actual fucking shotgun. Look at me! Yeah, you literally have to strafe off the ladder in order to, uh... Oh, now th that's another question. How the fuck do I change weapons? Ah, oh, shit. I have no idea. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, and you can't do anything with, uh... Detention block alpha. Escape the detention area that is being overrun by aliens. Okay. <sighs> nope, that was a waste of sh that was a waste of ammo. Hey, at least we found another medium med kit. Wait, does that go all the No, it doesn't go all the way up. I think we have to backtrack. I think we just came all the way out here just to get the shotgun, and that was it. 
The control section of the wiki is missing. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Okay. Alright. Fine. At a blind like a blind man at an orgy, I'm just gonna have to feel things out. So is this it? Am I done in this sector? I guess so. Did we pick up a key card? I don't fucking remember if we did. Well, we might as well just get out of here, I suppose. Nope. Apparently not. Winner no return, apparently. That is so weird. Okay, we didn't want to turn the alarm back on. Unless, did you guys see a door that I missed? Because I'm literally trapped down here now. Yeah, the problem is I have to quit the game in order to get to it. It won't let you change your buttons on the fly. So I'm stuck with whatever button configuration. And until I find another save point... Yeah, I am, Kara. I just want to know how to change weapons, because this is kind of bullshit. essentially just trapped back here until I can figure out where to go. I'm gonna try back down here. But I don't think I'm gonna have much luck. Because all that's down here is just the steam valve. Which I can't use anymore. And in before I hate valve puzzles. Hotel one? Huh, that's funny. I'm pressing it and nothing's happening. Yeah, L1 is free look for me. Yeah, if I hold down L1, I can free look. be really handy if there was a fucking map. This takes me back to the elevator. Which I can't use. I didn't realize this is a one-way trip. I got a free Brad Dorif. L1 and L2. Is there like a button I have to hold down in order to do it or no? Can 
He's looking good. No worries, man. I'm just gonna keep... Oh. Pass card accepted. Access granted. Fucking let me in, father. I mean, come on. Okay, what the hell is so special about this place? Oh hey, we found Renoda Ryder. <laughs> so I guess that's level one? Did did we Oh, f oh, does it jump from character to character? Are we going to have to play as Winona Ryder now? We're going to have to play as Winona Ryder now. Save game. Yes. We'll just do it as an empty save. Sure enough, yeah, now we're playing this call. First level goal, shoplift. Forming sections now? No. Oh, thank fuck. Good. I did not want to deal with that. Oh, but at least she has a motion tracker. It's all just a bunch of crap back here. My apologies to anyone who suffers from motion sickness. Death pit down there? No. Uh. Oh, suck it up, Call. You're a freaking android. What the hell? Um, looks like I'm in for a fight. Or did they seal the door on me? Nope, they sealed the door. That's exactly what happened. destroy that. We're gonna need something better than a pistol if we want to take that thing out. Can I push it? I'm starting to see a little bit of the PS1 jank. Ok, 
Okay, so they welded that door shut. That way's completely cut off. Okay, good. It, it is destructible. Oh no, are we gonna have to swim? Please tell me we're not gonna have to swim. Wow, this is... I should not have had that 2.5 shots of vodka before I started playing this bullshit. Anyway, welcome to Alien Resurrection. You missed Aliens, the arcade game, and Alien 3, the gun. We, met, we went through both of them. Bad for them. Oh, I can't turn head movement off. You know what? Let's double check. We can do this over again. Yeah, I'm sure. We have it saved at least. So yeah, let me double check the can let me double check the control layout. I just want to be sure. I just want to be sure, Martin. We all want to be sure. Oh, wait, never mind. Wrong movie series. So let's see. Options. Control options. Control the configuration. It just says action. Aim and action. Strafe left, strafe left, quick turn. Hold circle to display combo controls. Okay. No, I see it now. But it says combo controls. Oh, so you have to press them both at once. That's what they mean, I think. No. Unless you just hold it down. I have no idea what that means. You know what? Yeah, maybe. I know, because it's the wrong memory card. There we go. Engineering deck. Let's try this again. Load complete. But like I said, for a PS1 game, this is actually, technically, this is very impressive. Alright, so let's see what they mean. Well, okay. You know what? I have a better idea. Quit. Yes. Because I think... Yeah, you have to hold down the button. But here, let's, uh... Let's go to the detention block again. Because I just want to pick... I just want to test this real fast. So you have to hold down the button and not tap it. So let's see. That's exactly it. That is so dumb. That is so goddamn dumb. Because who's to say you're not going to use an item by accident? Alright, I'm done fucking around. Let's go back to call. See if we can get through the engineering deck. We're almost two hours in. I'm thinking about moving on to something else, but let's see how far we get. If we can get through call section, I'll consider this a win. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying not to sound like a pig on stream, but failing that. This might have to be its own stream, because like I said, this is the first time I've played this since, um... Since I rented it from Blockbuster back in high school. Alright, so. Now that we at least know. And she has no other items on her. Yeah, if you tap the button. Alright, well those guys are dead, so I'm not worried about them. 
go. They're gonna weld the door shut and leave me trapped in here. That's fine. Nothing I haven't been through before. So can I destroy this thing? Yes. And, looky what I got. But we're not going to use that just yet. Wow, that is so dumb. I mean, I know they did the best they could with the, uh... With the primitive PlayStation controls, but my god. And you know what I forgot to do is turn off weapon movement. Or like, head movement. This is... Even for me, this is just... Oh, hey, shotgun shells. Let's see. See if there's any other way out of here. Wow, this is... Oof, oof. This is not fun. Okay. The game's control setup is his most terrifying element. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I apologize for those viewers with motion sickness. I don't get motion sickness easily, but this, this is doing it. It could also be the vodka. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going that way just yet. Laser energy clip? What the fuck? I don't have anything that has laser energy. Hey, fuck up. Keeping the shoddy up. We might run into more xenomorphs. They went through all that trouble welding the doors, and look how much good it did them. Yeah, but I've never played this on stream before, so I was happy to actually do this one. Yeah, literally you have to just strafe off the ledges. But once you get the hang of the controls, they're not too bad. I mean, they're not great. Obviously, they were trying to... It's okay, we'll just try to follow. This bitch needs a health kit in the worst possible way. Oh, we have one already. There we go. It's only one. It's a small one, but... It will have to do. Oh good, more of this nonsense. Well, obviously we're not gonna... We are not gonna deal with that nonsense right now. I could really use some health, and why would an android need a first aid kit in the first place? That I don't get. Oh, God. Oh, hey. It's, oh, it's a small one. Son of a... Alright, alright. No. Wrong thing. There we go. Thank you kindly. Generator shut down. 
Power rerouted. Yes, but to where? Oh! Oh, never mind. It's part of the background. I thought for a second you could pick up documents like you could in Resident Evil. Speaking of which, kids, this Friday evening... Where? Where'd it go? And I keep hitting the right fucking trigger every time. Because I've been so conditioned to that being the fire button in every single modern shooter on a console. And it's just driving me nuts and... Hey, Nikki. Also keep in mind, we have not hit a single fucking save point since we started this level. Hey, Secondary sir. engine overheating. Hey, I'll take the shoddy shells at least. Please tell me there's a fucking save point somewhere. Oh, oh god. Fuck, this game is hard. And this starts to be back at the beginning of the level, doesn't it? We didn't hit a single save point, unless there's checkpoints that I didn't realize. We're back at- we're back at square one, aren't we? Oh, fuck that! Yeah, wait, are we? Yes, we're back at the goddamn beginning. Indeed, fuck work. Still got three more days to go. Uh. So yeah, fuck this game. <laughs> For real. If it were a little bit more generous with the difficulty, then this would have been great. It's definitely better than the movie it's based on. I mean, considering it's the second worst installment in the franchise. I'll give it one more honest-to-god try, and then, yeah, we're just gonna fuck off and go to something else. Because, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Solo fire team elite run. Oh, shit! Well, Kara, if you want to play fire team, do you want to jump on? I know you're probably practicing because you got like a bunch of gigs coming up, but if you got the time to spare, I'd love to play fire team. I already got the um, I got the update installed already. I'm I'm ready to go. We can totally do that if you want. There's another fucking update. Are you serious? I did the Lancer update. You're telling me there's another one on top of that? Small patch came out today. Oh. Yeah, because if you want to jump in on that shit... If you want to do a quick run, I've got an hour to kill. We can... we can totally do that. Fire team's a lot of fun, but I don't think it would be very fun solo. I mean, I'll do it if you guys want to watch. But yeah, just let me know. Once I'm done with this, I'll switch. Can't now, but I'm down for one on Sunday or something. Nah, I gotcha. Right. Yeah. You didn't see that one coming, did you, fuck up? Well, TBF, we're doing a little bit better. 
than we were last time. I'm thinking I might cheat and do a Doom mod. I know I only said officially licensed shit, but there's some good ones. There's actually a good one called Aliens Eradication. I'm currently rubbing spray tan on a pink zebra speedo cooking for Ginny Spring. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Scum Spring Break is, uh, it's this weekend, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't, I did not have the bread. Yeah, I did not have the bread to go on that thing, but maybe next year I'll plan ahead. Did not have the cash to get a spot. Like I said, if I had the funds, I would have done it, but... Next year, baby. Next year. You're doing in St. Augustine in November? Huh. I'll keep that in mind. the ladder. Oh. 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 That was the guy that killed me last time. Speaking of which. Mm, I think we can hold off for now. shells on this thing. Secondary engine overheating. God, I need to uncrouch. God, that is so fucking disorienting. Oh god, I have the wrong weapon equipped. Send your vision. Send your vision. Shit. Okay, I think that's enough alien resurrection for one evening. I do not feel like doing all that crap over again. Jesus H. All right, well we got an hour left to kill. I mean, there's one other game for the PlayStation that we can do. I really have no qualms. Because we still got yeah, we still got like 55 minutes left in the stream. Which one? Like Alien 3? We could do Alien 3. Space Gun. You want me to do Space Gun? Even though I did knockoffs last year? I mean, I could do it. I have no problem with that. Let me just check something real fast. Damn, it's not in this one. Okay, if you guys want me to do Space Gun, we'll do Space Gun. One of these things is not like the other. So I did this last year for my Alien knockoffs thing. They have it incorrectly labeled on Twitch as an FPS. But what the hell, you guys want to see it? I'm going to do it. Why not? Space Gun it is. Another rail shooter.
No, that's Space Harrier. I don't need that. There we go. Okay, kids. You asked for it. You got it. And then we'll do Alien 3 after this. Alright, so we're going to do a run of Space Gun. This is not an officially licensed Alien game, but it's one of the best knockoffs, if not the best one out there. So, we're going to do it. Might as well be an Alien game. You are right. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of those crosshairs off the screen, so if they annoy you, well, tough shit. But anyway, welcome. Twenty thirty nine A.D. <laughs> How many years away is that? Like seventeen? Hopefully the sounds okay. There are many unknown dangers in space. We're almost there. <laughs> A new horror is awakened. All right, kids. Let's see how far, how far we can get on one quarter. Ready? Okay, another light gun rail shooter. three buttons. So the cabinet had a gun with a, um, with a trigger, of course, for regular fire. It had a button on the side for a grenade launcher. And it had a pedal so you could backtrack, like I'm doing here. Notice how I'm weaving left and right, that's how I'm doing that. We're not off to a great start, kids. I played the hell out of this game. my tan. You have different kind of bombs, flame bombs, regular ass explody bombs. You also have blade bombs and freeze bombs. But we're done, that's level one. Monsters attack the crew, will any of them survive? like giant mana rays. Alright. Now I think this is another moment where you guys get to choose my fate. But I'm gonna go left. 
Left is the better way to go. right now? Oh, by the way, that timer at the top of the screen, if that runs out, they send, like, invincible blue monsters after me. They have an insane amount of health and they're there to just fuck you out of your quarters. Not doing too hot. There we go. There's some. There's health. Okay, I think I need freeze bombs for this thing. Starbase Aura ceased. Take command of a spin. Oh, this is the Jeep stage. We were somewhere around the Starbase R, on the edge of the desert. And the drugs began to take hold. We can't stop here. This is bad country. One toke, you poor fool. Wait until you see those goddamn bats, man. Stage three down. No hostages in that stage. Are the occupants in danger? What the fuck do you think? I love the I love the music for this stage. It's so fucking creepy. Wait, 
going right was a mistake. It was a mistake. I should have just gone straight forward. Or maybe no. Maybe not. I feel like I'm playing Duke Nukem again. What are you, some kind of bottom feeding, scum sucking algae eater? Obviously, we're going left here. Probably a mistake. Oh no. Yeah, I needed that vest at least. Jesus. I forgot how nuts this shit gets. This is never any supply of blade bombs. making good use of that pedal. What the hell was that noise? everybody. I only got like one tick of health left. There's no way I'm getting through this without getting getting killed. But I'm gonna try like an idiot. Let's do this. So many floating balls. Well, there we go. It's, like I said, it's usually around here where I die. Anyway. Hey, Jackie. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> you missed some shit. Um, what did you miss so far? You missed uh, Aliens the Arcade Game. You missed Alien 3 The Gun. Um, and you missed Alien Resurrection for the PlayStation 1. Those are the three games you missed so far. But welcome nonetheless. I'm glad you're here. How did Sonic end up going last night, by the way? Yeah, you missed real aliens, this is now fair. Honestly, this game, this game's a banger, and it actually, you know what, I don't mind doing it for an alien stream, it's worthy. Real fake aliens. Oh, we're still gonna keep going. We got another hour to kill. After I'm done with this, I got a few more things lined up. I think uh, Kara wanted to see Alien 3 on the Genesis. So we might do that afterwards. I might do Alien 3 on the SNES too. 
hell, I actually have a... Uh, I have the original alien on the Atari 2600 if you guys want to see that. Oh, that's good. Did you do battle with the ultimate life form or did that not happen on the stream? Alien 3 is a Metroid clone? Uh, not really. It depends on which version. The Genesis version is just more of a straight up arcade side scroller. You kicked. Yeah, the giant lizard with the space station shoved up its ass, yeah. The ultimate life form. The ultimate suppository. Got out Borland. At least we got some health back. But no, thank you one and all for showing up. I do appreciate this. Oh, we're almost towards the end here. God damn, they're oh yeah, these are all fakes. They're all fakes! Okay, well, a couple of them are real. Value humans. Yeah. For those of my friends watching the stream with parent uh, that are that have kids, this is what your child looks like to me when you hand it off. Get that thing away from me. Two more stages to go, and then we're done with this, kids. <laughs> Alright. The situation in the base is worse than GTFO! Gotta make good use of that backpedal. The problem is we only got about 48 seconds to get through this shit. Shit, while well, I got my vest on. It's some weird shit. Alright, final boss. I can't use bombs here because it'll fuck up the control console. Damages it too. There we 
we go. It is such a great word. I think it just told me to fuck off in its own language. But yes, that was Space Gun. Short as it was. How much time we got left? <laughs> uh, big ups to YIO Saging <laughs> aliens at home. Can we have xenomorphs? We have xenomorphs at home, son. Yeah, that took about a half an hour. We got a half an hour left. Yeah. Sound by Zuntara. I know. I had one in my local mall and I played the hell out of it. Yep. Such a great game. Sank so much money into that friggin' cabinet. Same people that brought you Ninja Warriors, which is another great arcade game. Anyway. What the hell, I think I will put my initials in for this one. But that's it. I'm not doing a loop 2 on this one. That actually kind of hurts. But that is it for that. And, uh, yeah, I guess next... Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Hold on, I gotta edit the stream info again. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna play Alien 3, but I think I'm gonna do the SNES one first. Just to show... I actually own the cartridge for this one, and... Yeah. Running into public... <laughs> Wait, you're watching this? No, I don't want the image to change. I want... Yes. There we go. So we'll do this one first, and then we'll do the Genesis one to kind of close things out. 
Or I might do Alien Trilogy for the PlayStation. I'm not sure which one I want to do just yet. But welcome to Alien 3. Which is made by Acclaim. And Probe, which made pretty much all the Alien and Predator games for the consoles back then. So excited. Uh, you won't be once the game gets going. Because I have... Because that's the thing about this game. About the SNES version, anyway. Is that it looks beautiful. It sounds beautiful. But it is fucking boring as shit. Every time I play this game, I feel like I'm at work. And that's the thing, you think the intro's over? No, it keeps going. <laughs> Forget I said anything. It's cool. I just realized this stream's gonna have a lot of chapters once it goes to a VOD. Because instead of just using the retro tag, I've been changing... I've been changing the, uh... I've been changing the categories on the fly every time I change games. But if you know how the story of Alien 3 goes, then you know what happens here. Facehugger gets on board, bleeds acid, causes a fire. But I'll show you what I mean by why I feel like I'm at work when I play this game. So, game options, audio, yeah. So, welcome to Alien 3. Like I said, it looks gorgeous. The, set, the music's amazing. And I do like the fact that some of the instruments actually fade out when you go to certain parts of the level. But hold on, I'm gonna get some ammo first. The game is six stages long, but there are multiple missions in each stage. But I'm gonna grab some ammo, because ammo is limited. So that's a flamethrower fuel canister, obviously. You only get one of those, but you can stack uh, magazines for grenades and for your uh, pulse rifle. I'm not switching weapons, I'm just changing the counter for each. Because uh, each weapon has its own dedicated button. So, the pulse rifle is the A button on the Super Nintendo controller. The X button is grenades. And the flamethrower is the Y button. So you don't have to change weapons. So here's the... Yeah, so now here's the... Um, this is why I say I feel like I'm at work when I play this game. Because every level has a bunch of missions you have to complete. So I really feel like I'm just doing help desk tickets. It's like, alright, we got a bunch of help... We got a bunch of um, maintenance requests and we got to go through all of them. It's like a typical day at work for me. So we'll do heat it up first. And this is what bogs the game down, because you can't skip this sh Well, actually, yes, we can skip it. So basically, we have to destroy all the eggs in two different areas. The problem is, if you don't listen to the, uh, to the mission briefings, you won't know where to go. You'll just be lost the whole time. Thankfully, there's not a time limit on these things, but still. Flamethrower does a lot of damage, just like an alien's. But 
but on the whole, it would take you about... It takes most people about six hours to complete this game, an hour for each stage. It does have a password system, though, so you can pick it up where you left off. And I'm actually going to get some more ammo. I'd have to say, the one thing I'd say about this game is that, like, the sound and the music are impressive, and the, gra the, and the graphics as well. If they were able to incorporate this with the Genesis version's gameplay, it would have been perfect. Like, just a fast-paced, rescue all the prim prisoners and get out before time runs out, it would have been perfect. But instead it's like, yeah, we got pipes you need to weld and, you know, junction boxes you need to repair. You know, do it whenever you need to, you know, no rush. And it just gets kind of tedious. Yeah. Like I said, the game looks and sounds beautiful, but that's pretty much where it, where my uh, love affair with it ends. Yeah. You'll sleep it on the job, Ripley. As a kid, I played the hell out of it. Until I beat it. Once I beat it the first time, I never really played it again. Because at this point, I can speedrun and beat this game in like 30 seconds. For real. Actually, less than 30 seconds. If I'm fast in the controller. This screen. Did you get a pub sub? Or maybe some sushi? Salad. Did you get the southern cob? That is the best salad. Fight me. You cannot beat the, su the southern cob. It does! Oh. So you got one of those weird mixed green salads from the produce section? I subsisted on those when I had my stomach bug. Like back when I could... I went smoked turkey salad. Oh, okay, gotcha. Fuck, I'm almost out of flamethrower. worse when they skimp on the fried chicken, yeah. I hate it when they do that, when they go overboard on the apple slices and they stiff you on the chicken. Keep 
keep in mind, it took me how long to get through this, and this is just one mission out of, I think, seven or eight. So, rather than just go through the whole thing, I'm just gonna quit. Or maybe not. There we go. So if you hold down L and R, select and start, then it just quits the game and game over's on you. It gives you an easy out if you don't want to stop playing, or if you're too lazy to just walk across the room and press the power button. But anyway, just to save you about six hours worth of time, I'm going to speed burn this game right now. Ready? And go! And time. So yeah, that's Alien 3 for the Super Nintendo. I just saved you six hours worth of time. So if you ever think, uh, should I play this? Yeah, for real. Until she gets cloned. You know, 200 years later. generous normally I would stop after three hours but I think we're gonna end this one with a bang and I'm gonna break my taboo about doing alien versus predator stuff yeah Rick the master Jones so yeah that's alien 3 for the Super Nintendo <laughs> thunder thighs yeah I love the names <laughs> So I think, Kara, did you still want to see Alien 3 for the Genesis? Because I can fire that up real quick and just go through like the first two levels. You know, let's do that for comparison's sake and then we'll end on a bang. I got extra time and that is the wrong thing I wanted to use. There we go. Alright. Genesis, je ne sais quoi. Fusion by Steve Snake. Alright, so let's do Alien 3 for the Genesis this time. I mean, it doesn't look nearly as good as the SNES version, but it's so much more fun to play. And then I know how we're going to end this. It might take us a while, but I know how we're going to end this. <laughs> yeah, the music's great.
All right, here we go. Let's see if I remember what the button layouts are. All right, jump. Okay, we got it. Happened to the spooky music. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this flawless. Only in the comics, but they were all domesticated, Aluro. level of this game without getting hit, without getting damaged once, you get half a million points. But yeah, this is pretty much the whole game. Like I said, if they combined this with the graphics from the SNES version, it would have been fucking perfect. It's a much faster paced game, which is why I like which is why I prefer it to the SNES version. But it's nothing compared to what we're closing out with. It's a long one and it's gonna make me run over my time, but you know what? What the hell? I'll just skip Oreos tonight. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I usually have Oreos right before I go to bed. And a big glass of milk, because it knocks me the fuck out. Like, I'll just scarf that down, lay in bed and just watch, like, an episode of Bob Ross. And Bob Ross, you know, the cadence of his voice, it just... While he's painting happy little trees, it just... It just puts me right out. Like, I literally just... If you ever have trouble sleeping, don't go to, like, meds or anything. Put on Bob Ross. Seriously, you will be like a light. You're just out. It works. It seriously works. Yep, that is literally how I close out every weeknight. That's what I do. I think I missed a hostage back somewhere. But we're not getting our half a million bonus anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, you can't have Oreos in the house? Why not? Uh. 
That's right, he was up there. Oh, and we're done. Shit, that was all the... That was all the hostages, God damn it! Well, at least I killed that guy out of spite. I will eat everyone. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm a little more disciplined than that. I usually just have, like, maybe three, or if I'm really feeling it, like six. No mercy. You can eat a whole party-sized pack of those things and not even bat an eye, huh? Fuck, how do I get out of here? Oh, no, I remember. Like, I don't go all out, man. I just have, like, maybe three. Because if I have the whole fucking pack, I'm not gonna go to bed. Yeah, I can't do that anymore. Yeah, we didn't get our half a mil this time because we took a bunch of damage. Never ate less than 40 Jesus, dude! Alright. Well, now that I showcase this one... <laughs> I want to eat a tasteful number the depression wants all of them. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Now... Keep... Now... You know those little combo snack things? Little pretzels that have, like, cheese wrapped, around, like, wrapped inside them? I can polish off two whole fucking bags of those. Get those things away from me, because you will not see them ever again. I have restraint with certain things, but not others. Same thing like when I make ravioli for myself, or uh, tortellini. I can, like, polish off a whole, like, a whole bag. No lie. No jokes or japes. That thing is just gone. It's like, hey, I made tortellini, and I'm like, well, I hope you weren't fucking planning on sharing. For me, that is a single serving. Fuck, I did it again. <laughs> Yes, I'm making that tomorrow. I'm making my half-assed Alfredo. So what that is, is basically microwavable popcorn chicken, um, frozen tortellinis, and sauce out of a jar. But you put all three of them together, it is so goddamn good. Call it half ass because I don't make any of this shit myself. It's literally just the bags, yes. The bags, you're right, the bags are never big enough for two people. You're absolutely right. right. Well, I think we're gonna end tonight. I said I wasn't gonna do AVP. But we're gonna fucking do AVP. So. But we're not doing the Super Nintendo AVP game because that shit's lame. No. We're gonna end this- we're gonna end this stream on a high note, people. If I can center the goddamn window. There we go. Alright, here we go. AVP from Capcom, 1994. This is what we're ending the stream on, kids. Yeah, it really is. Well, that's the thing. Once Aliens came out... The comic books just went Caligula crazy.
But I don't think this game's based on the comic books at all. They just did like a standalone thing. <laughs> Sandrad, California, which doesn't exist. At least not now. But this is what we're ending on, kids. The largest city on the West Coast has become a living hell. versus Predator. Time to hunt. Time to hunt. Yes, Predator Daddy. <laughs> Select All right. your claim. Alright, and I'm gonna go with my favorite character. We're using the hunter. Cause he's got a big ass spear. That's not a euphemism for anything. Look at the size of that thing. You've got the super magazine. It's time to shoot them down, which means I have hit the plasma cast for the next 10 seconds. This game sucks. Jackie, it is. This is more than we can deal with now. Yes, that was too easy. We're cornered. So say hello to the first boss, the Chrysalis. That's why the one in Predator 2 holed up in a slaughterhouse. He just ate raw beef. Anyway, we're done. By the way, that big beefy looking dude, um, he's actually the descendant of Arnold Schwarzenegger's character Dutch Schaefer from the original Predator. He's uh, listed as Schaefer IV. So yeah, that's like Arnold's great-great-great-grandson. I shit you not. He's fun to play, he plays like Mike Haggard. But he has like an electric shore you can...
I love how the predators can use uh, human weapons like that. But I'm pretty sure human firearms are the equivalent of, like, Fisher-Price toys to him or Nerf guns. It's probably just thinking to itself, like, wait, the, the humans fight worse than this shit. I used this shit at kindergarten. Anyway, pizza. Yeah, the problem I have with this character though is I spend way too much time trying to string combos together and I end up dying because keep, they keep getting free hits. <laughs> Impressive. Anyway, we've got a Praetorian coming up soon. And there it is. Say hello to Razor Claws. So Capcom, just like everybody else, took liberties, but within reason. <laughs> Hi, Razor Claws. <laughs> Bye, Razor Claws. <laughs> Is this just me or the sound Round scene? Three. The sound was kind of off in that cutscene. Oh well. This stage is very short. Gun at max cooling fire away, which means we have infinite plasma casting for this part. Oh, 
finish that. So that's the end of that level. <laughs> It's not as funny as the uh, T-800s in Terminator 2 when they're trying to catch up to the truck. But yeah, it's the same spirit. Anyway, now we go to the nest. <laughs> the honor of hunting the Queen Mother is mine. Oh well, yeah, because there's nobody else playing. Funny thing about the, the smartest... The humans can use it, but they can't catch it. Only the predators can, like, catch it in midair and use it again. The humans just throw it once and then that's it. Oh, welcome back, Nikki. And yes, freedom. We're here for the final game of the evening. Crimes, kids. Oh shit, there we go. First continue. Yeah, we're gonna keep using the hunter. I might switch to something. Actually, you know, next time we continue, I'll just uh, pick someone else. But I think that resets our score. Not that it matters. You only get one extra life at 100,000 points, and that's it. Oh. Say hello to the Infectoids. Remember the zombies from the Aliens arcade game? They're back. So, these are humans that are just dead men walking. Uh, at Disney. It was at Magic Kingdom. My friends all went on Space Mountain, but I'm definitely afraid of roller coasters, so I pushed out and went to the arcade that was right next door, and I played the shit out of this until I waited for them to come out. I have no regrets, because this game was awesome. I will confess I'm severely acrophobic. Yeah, they didn't care. <laughs> they had Mortal Kombat in the same arcade, so... Rid of that jacket? Okay, 
favorite Disney rides and go. I'll start with mine, and it might be a weird choice, and it's gone now as well, but the Maelstrom at Epcot, the, the ride you go on in Norway. I loved the shit out of that ride. It was my favorite thing. I, I can't explain why. Ah, yeah, I did I did great with Blue Ride as a kid. It was. Yeah, it did rule. I love that ride. And I missed that. And they replaced it with some lame-ass Frozen ride, and I was just so upset. I fucking love the Maelstrom. Oh, you're just gonna get three shots on me. Oh, okay. Oh, and there we go. Oh, no, we're not dead yet. If you do it... If you do it, Vulture, I will play that shit on your stream. You know I'm good for it. Totally know I'm down for that shit. Yes! And there we go. Alright, I think I'm gonna pick. Yeah, we're gonna do. Come on, that's potty. Oh, he can use the Predator Spear. Come on! Stick a knife in me. Why you moving around in there as you turn around the blade? I got it. I got it. Dylan, make a stand now. We nobody left to do the job. I knew these men. They do make sense to look right. Now, what the hell would they do in here? Oh, here we go, people. Yep. Yes, do it. <laughs> Later, Aluro. Thanks for hanging out, man. <laughs> Fuck yes. Yeah, kids. We're only halfway there. Let's roll. Welcome to stage five, people. Ah! Ah! 
I don't feel bad. These guys are all in Wailing Yutani's payroll. Oh, don't mind if I do. Alright, who are we picking next? Uh, we'll go with Kurosawa. Alright! 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 He's basically just Chun Li with a different hairstyle. Different set of fighting moves. Yeah, I guess we're fighting this stage, kids. Yep. Kick the loader to death, exactly. 
I think there's only like two more stages to go. We're almost done. There might be one more out here. Oh, you did it! <laughs> yeah, once I die and continue again, I'm just gonna stick with the hunter for the rest of the game. The, the predator hunter is my best character. Maybe next year I'll do a, another crappy alien day and just play the worst games in the series. Or just one. Yeah, maybe I'll just subject myself to aliens and only marines again. But if somebody's gonna do that, they'll have to gift it to me. They'll have to gift it to me on Steam or something. For that piece of shit. I got excited. Come <laughs> on. 
This is the last level. Yep, and it turns out the Predator we fought had an alien inside it. use him. The other characters can't really... Yeah, once you get his move set down, that's it. It's all over.
Once they get into that dash attack, it's really hard to take down. At least I'm gonna lose health soon. No, oh, now it's just these assholes. Oh, great, now these guys again, too. Up one at a time, single file. I said single file. The aliens abide by the do by the rules of Queensberry. Yes. Should be a mod where you have Dudley from Street Fighter 3. Just pummeling aliens with his fists. Got a trash! You, sir, have no dignity. Big dude with a handlebar mustache.
don't think predators eat what they kill, it's purely for sport. <laughs> Two chrysalide at the same time, huh? for that old thing. Yeah, I know they eat beef. But I don't think they eat things purely for taste. It's really more of a... Yeah, I need to just consume food before I die. I don't think food's really a big part of their culture, but then I never read the books. It's all about honor and the hunt and shit. Then again, there are certain tribes that also, you know, don't abide by those rules at all. And, uh, you know, will kill anything on sight, regardless of whether you're armed or not. And also, um, they use Xenomorphs as hunting dogs, and great, now power loaders are just regular enemies, and that's just a big giant steaming pile of horseshit. I'm sorry. I can understand the Chrysalis, because they were like the first boss, but no. Yeah, by the way, Rob, you saw the Gary Busey video where he describes the Predator, right? When he was on set? That's one way to destroy a power loader. <laughs> These army robots are useless. Yes, their last line of defense is just two guys. Good job.
this guy just caught him right. that for uh, uh, Vulture, if you're still here, are they still doing that for the, the Spring Break? Are they still bringing a pig? Or did they give up on that idea? I forget, was it Ryan who was proposing that? Yeah, I think I was talking to him at the brunch. Oh my god. An entire pig. How big of a pig did they say? <laughs> you gotta post pictures. Even I can't even if I'm not gonna be able to witness that in person, I wanna see that shit. up in Gainesville or a lot. Wow.
That's it, that's game. Oh. Oh. I did not keep track of how many quarters it took for me to beat this fucking thing. I'll catch you in a minute. More than a weekly allowance, more than a monthly allowance, man. to Kami and Garuda Tetsu. <laughs> because we're coming for your fucking skulls next, that's why. <laughs> purposes again because they're fucking stupid. Oh. <sighs> but that is it for the stream. I went way over what I was going to do. But I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I will be back on Thursday, but I don't know what with. I'm thinking since I just reinstalled it. I don't know if uh, Nikki's still here. But I'm thinking about doing DuckTales. Um, I think I'm just going to play the original first real quick and then do the remastered one and just make that a stream for uh, Thursday. And then Friday night at 9.30pm, we're going to be doing uh, Resident Evil 2 since I, uh, since I did the first one already. That'll start at 9.30pm and I don't know how long I'm going to run with that. But I think I'm at least going to do Leon's scenario if nothing else. But, again, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I'll figure out what I'm doing on uh, Thursday. Most likely it's going to be DuckTales. But, uh, leave a follow if you haven't already, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys are following me at this point. The people have been chatting me up all night. But, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go to bed. And I want to thank you all for staying late and hanging out. And I'll catch you next time. And we're going to raid out to my buddy Darkstar, as a matter of fact. So let me get that prepped and ready. Try, yeah, he's still doing Trials of Mana, so I'm just going to hit Start Raid on that bitch.
Yep, you too, Jackie. Thanks for hanging out. All right. And with that, the Resurrection VOD is worth going back and watching. All right, everybody. Yep, take it easy. Thanks for staying late. Catch y'all later. Did you hear about Bob? No. Shame, really. He got sacked. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Worked out for me, all right. I ended up getting his job. It's a beautiful office. Cheers. Cheers. Find that silver lining. No way. No way. Fucking game over, man. Fucking game over. <sighs> Gold save the queen.